Hi, I'm James Haddo. I'm going to show you how to set up your IHI account um, and if you already have one, how to check it carefully to make sure that everything is perfect. Um, it's a bit fiddly and if you don't quite get it right then I can't see your account on the administration side and I therefore can't add you to the Open School roster. So the first thing you should do is go to education.ihi.org and here you want to create an account. If you have an account I'll show you in a minute what to do, how to check it. So the first thing you want to do is put in your details. I'm just going to put in some dummy details. You only need to fill in the fields with a red asterisk. Now this is the first field where you need to pay really close attention. You need to type in exactly Southern District and that's probably enough. And then you'll see in this um, menu that pops up, it says there are four items. You want to choose Southern District Health Board. And there's actually three the duplicate ones, um, but just choose the top one, that will be fine. Don't type in Southern DHB because that won't link properly. Okay, so now you see that in the organization field, you've got Southern District Health Board, Dash Dunedin, New Zealand, Dash Dunedin, etc don't worry because later on your profile if you go back into it it will show only Southern District Health Board and it chops off the rest for some reason but that's okay it does that and it's okay the next thing is type in uh, an, an email I'm just going to put in a dummy one now this email needs to be the same email that you registered with um, the course on um, or else I can't link you and the other thing to be very careful of is to type it in absolutely correctly and a lot of people make mistakes especially if they're from Southern DHB this can get mistyped you can miss out an N or change the D to P or miss out the T or sometimes the dot NZ so be very careful to put this in absolutely correctly and also make sure you get the dot between your names sometimes that's missed the next thing you need to pay attention to is the country field before you go to the address because by selecting New Zealand the formatting of the address changes and you'll see that the page reloads um, to do that so it's important you do that first or else the address field won't work for you and you'll get very frustrated so private bag 1921 which is the DHB um, address and the postcode is 9054 and that's what you all you need to do. You don't need to put in your personal address if you don't want to. Uh, then you put in the password and they must be exactly the same and then you click next and wait for a bit because the server is a bit slow and once you get to the next page you know that you have done that page correctly. If it stops you it will tell you where the problems are. Next is important because if you are somebody in a in a role which qualifies you for a free IHI account I'd really like you to select that role because it means that we can then offer another place to somebody who's not in one of these roles. So those roles are in here would be student, intern, resident which means an RMO, um, a teacher or a dean or a professor. So basically if you've got a, um, a, an appointment with the university or a college or something then please select those roles. So I'm just going to select student just to show you um, what happens if you are a student. Uh, then you select your organization's type, put in hospital, education type, I don't know you could say oh, I'm a, um, a physician and then student or resident so I've selected student so I'm going to put in that I'm a, a full-time student and this is where then if you are a student you need to put in your school uh, email address so it might be um, uh, test dot test at otago dot ac dot nz and then your year of graduation uh, you, if it's in the future and you know just put it in the future as that for example and 
by putting those fields in, then their system will automatically put you on a educational account, which means that um, it will be a free place and it will remain free and you'll have access for as long as you are a student. So um, it means that you're not just limited to the one year subscription that we can provide through the DHB. Uh, then select your communication preferences and click finish. And then we're just waiting for that to work. And here we go, it says thanks for creating account. And you'll see that you're already signed in. So now I'm going to show you how to adjust your account profile or at least check that everything is, is correct. So you would go to IHI uh, education.ihi.org and you would sign in instead of creating account. And then up at the top you have uh, your account name showing here. So you click on this and this will bring you into your account profile. So again, just waiting for the page to load. There we go. Now this profile is a little bit tricky to navigate, so you need to be quite eagle-eyed in order to use it. This is where your main details are, and this is where you can see the organization that you're attached to. And even sometimes, although it shows Southern District Health Board, you might have selected the wrong one in the past. So it's worth going in here and just re-entering that. And to do that, you need to click this little pencil that's hiding up here in the top corner. And it will bring up this pop-up box. And then just delete what's there and type it again. And you'll see that you get a menu popping up below here with possible organizations. Just select the top one that is Southern District Health Board don't type Southern DHB that won't work okay and again you see that the organization is the full thing with some Dunedin Southland in here but when you save it and close it it will only show Southern District Health Board um, and that's fine that's the way the system works okay um, but the other thing to remember is when you updated it on that thing this page behind doesn't update so it will still show the old data. You actually have to refresh this page in order to see the new changes. So just bear that in mind. The next thing you need to check is that your email address is the same email address as the one that I have in, um, on your, in your first registration. Okay, if it's not, please change it by going clicking on this pencil. And again, a pop. Uh, th this will now change in this box, and you change your email, and then you click save. Okay. The next thing to check is this bit over here for students and residents. So if you are a student, an intern, or a, an RMO, uh, then you need to make sure that this is correct again by clicking this pencil and then answering the boxes appropriately so are you a student um, and then this one is important putting in your student or your school email address and your year of graduation you click save uh, the last thing I should have shown you um, was your uh, role so the primary role needs to be selected correctly of course if you're a student or something so again in that pencil box there you would need to put down this primary role especially if it's one of those um, uh, ones where we can get a free account for you so that's uh, the three boxes this one this one and this one that you really need to check the details and make sure they're working for you uh, to have a working account so that I can see you okay I hope that's useful uh, please don't hesitate to email me if you're still having problems and I can, um, with your permission uh, and your password, go into your profile and just check if everything's working. Okay, thanks very much.